Incumbent Andy Kim showed off his political aptitude last night, handily winning his race against Republican challenger Bob Healy in the 3rd Congressional District. Even though Healy had more money backing his candidacy, and as pundits projected the election would tighten. Raven Santana reports. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Congressman re-elect Andy Kim. In an entrance fit for a rock star, Congressman Andy Kim took the stage last night to thank supporters for successfully re-electing him for a third term in New Jersey's third congressional district. It's a lot of work that got here to this moment. And not just me, but my whole team and everybody here. But what I'll say is, look, I'm going to enjoy this moment, but I also recognize that in many ways, Election Day is the starting line, not the finish line. We have to think back that really Kim was part of this 2018 blue wave. A lot of these seats in New Jersey, which was much more split earlier on uh, between Republicans and Democrats in the House, a lot of these seats are kind of freshly Democratic seats. And so Democrats like Cheryl and Kim and Gottheimer really have to straddle this line of moderation to keep their voters election cycle after election cycle. Ashley Koning is the director of the Eagleton Center for Public Interest Polling. Koning says fear and anger by voters was one of the reasons why Kim won. And so if Republicans were content with the status quo or with the, the recent decisions on abortion, that fear and motivation really would be coming from the Democratic side and driving key voting blocks like women to the polls. The Associated Press called the race last night, but Kim's GOP challenger Bob Healy is not conceding, in part because of a voting machine glitch in Mercer County. Healy remains optimistic. I should have really tied this district as a 49-49 split. Um, and we've seen more, it, it's acted more like that on the ground. People we've met, um, whether knocking doors or at events, it's, it's felt more like that kind of a district. This afternoon, Healy's team released a statement saying, as with every election, total vote tabulation requires patience in order to fully see the outcome of the race. We are eager to see the rest of the vote results pour in from Mercer County over the next few days. From Bob's standpoint, um, like I said, I mean, making sure that uh, all the votes are counted. I mean, we can, we can do the math just like anybody else, but uh, again, it doesn't hurt anybody to wait till the next morning. Republican strategist Chris Russell, who worked on the CD3 campaign, says for Republican candidates like Healy to win, the party needs to stray away from the national brand. The, the national brand is bad for Republicans here in New Jersey. We need to figure out a way to reach out to this middle, middle of the road suburban voter who has drifted away from us in the last five to six years and to win, certainly in places like New Jersey, we need to win them back. We cannot win. Um, by kind of going hard right. Meanwhile, Congressman Kim says his strategy to continue to hold his seat is to try to heal this country. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.